three, two, one, do it. <laughs> we need the music though. Can you add the music? This is Daniel Bailey, the director of The High Table. <laughs> and this is Temi Wilkie, the writer of High Table. What are we talking about? Okay, what is The High Table? <laughs> um, what's it about? Yes. Uh, the, high <laughs> the High Table. The High Table. The High Table. <laughs> the High Table. I said it so many times. <laughs> the High Table <laughs> is a play and it is about um, a queer wedding. Um, one of the people getting married is Tara and she's Nigerian, um, British Nigerian. Um, and her parents have refused to come because they're quite homophobic and um, there's also like a chorus of ancestors who've like assembled in the North Star to try and like sort it out and like bring like the, the family back to harmony. And then things ensue that will not be revealed unless you see it. Why did you choose spirituality within a, within a piece of the device for us to, to learn more about where we come from, who we are? What existed before? Why do you use spirituality? Why don't you use religion in terms like a Western religion to do that? So I think I'm just quite a spiritual person. I like magic. And so just that kind of like something that's sitting on top of, or not even sitting, floating on top of what you're doing. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's really hard when someone asks you like why you did something, because it's like, I don't know. It just came out of me. <laughs> Ask the muses. I, but I think that's what that's it. It came out of you. Where did, where did that come from? Mm. It exists in you from before. Yeah. Because I think, like, sorry, mum, but I'm an apostate, so that means I used to be religious, but I'm not anymore. Or I'm not religious in a sort of Christian sense. Yeah. But I guess I've always been searching for a spirituality that isn't connected to what, who I believe is the white man's God. Sorry. Sorry, mum. Sorry. Don't be sorry. Sorry, guys. Well, if you watch it, sorry. History guys. exists, doesn't it? Yeah. No. But um, so I guess it's probably in the part of that journey it's like looking up and finding out about the spirituality and the belief systems before your country was colonized that's probably why let's talk a bit about the music i've always wanted you to put some music in it was music in it anyway. yeah but i think the element element of music you brought out much more in this draft which is a massive shift from i guess yeah. from the draft from before i think <laughs> i think sound has always been an important element like an like just feeling like oh there will be like you know when you just write something you're like hmm. it's a it's move it's, yeah there's a move in it yeah yeah and so it's always been there and it's just like working with people to like to bring it out yeah no, but seriously why should why should people come and see the play because it's an amazing play um, written by an amazing playwright that centers um, queer black love. And um, it's an important story for us to tell. There are ancestors in this story and you never see ancestors on stage. I've never seen ancestors on stage in this way. And so we have a beautiful thing to share with you all and we would love you to come. Daniel Bailey is the future of British theatre. Say something. Say something. I'm glad you did it. I'm glad you did it. Still love him. Oh. <laughs> Get out of here.